Well, it's been a week since former Oakland Police Chief LaRon Armstrong was fired, and Mayor Shane Tao said she lost confidence in the chief and made the decision to separate him from the city without cause. And today, we are hearing from the mayor firsthand on that decision. So joining me now is Oakland Mayor Shane Tao. And, Mayor, it's been an extremely eventful month and a half since you've taken office, but we'll begin with the one story that's kind of on the top of everyone's mind. A lot of people are still asking, what specifically did Armstrong do wrong to warrant his firing? Again, I have great respect for Chief Armstrong. I have a, you know, we worked together really well when I was on the city council. It's just unfortunate that I no longer have the confidence uh, that he could continue to do what is needed to reform the police department and help us move from under the federal oversight. You know, we have the federal judge over, that's overseeing the oversight uh, this, you know, of the city that he said that he was profoundly disappointed and that the independent investigative report demonstrated significant cultural problems in the department. And so we have to work to ensure that we are making sure that we're not just checking the boxes in front of the judge, but at the same time that these cultural um, significant uh, issues are addressed. And so right now, we're really focused on what we're going to do next. And again, that process has already begun. We're going to do a nationwide search with the hopeful um, uh, you know, want of having the chief be a local person here. But I do believe, believe that we can create a plan for reforming the problems identified in the independent, uh, independent investigative report. And that's one, reforming OPD system of internal investigation, two, potentially incorporating a civilian component into IAD investigations, and strengthening civilian oversight. You know, accountability is critical, but it is also essential that we fix what actually went wrong in this. And so it's uh, due, those, due to those reasons why I felt that we have to make a change. And getting out from underneath that oversight has been extremely important. And because of that, you have received support for your decision. But also, have you been surprised by the backlash from Oakland's black leaders, especially from the NAACP? Well, you know, I know that, um, you know, Laron was born and raised here. But at the end of the day, what we do, how we move forward as a city, that is always going to be my North Star. The city of Oakland, the residents, the businesses here, and ensuring that we get out from over the federal oversight is incredibly important. And again, you know, in making sure that we do that, the federal judge overseeing the city again said that he was profoundly disappointed in regards to what the independent investigative report demonstrated. And so moving forward, that was, I do feel strong that it's the right move that we have to, you know, change course and be able to move forward in a way where we can actually address the cultural issues. And the city of Oakland has had seven police chiefs in the past seven years, nearly a dozen in the past 20 years. Everyone, of course, is talking about police reform, but how do you reform a police department when you have so much instability at the top? Well, that instability was definitely not under my watch, <laughs> uh, but at the same time, it's one of those things where we have to ensure that we do find the people who are going to be leading at the top with not just, um, you know, making sure that we are leading in a way where we are changing the cultural norms in the department, but also in a way where we are actually making sure that these are systemic changes and it stops at the, it starts at the top, right? And, and so that's why it's important to have to find the right person. If, if the former chief sues the city for wrongful termination, or is the city and are you prepared for that lawsuit? That's his choice. I'm focused on what we need to do next to continue reforms and finally end the 20 years of federal oversight. Fair enough. So one year from now, once the dust settles, what do you think people will be saying about your decisions? Well, we'll see what happens when the dust settles. But I do, again, I do believe strongly in the decision that I made and I stand by it. Again, the chief does serve at the pleasure of the mayor. And so with this being said, as we move forward into this administration, we are geared towards making sure that we have strong ties with our OPD department and our community as well. What, what qualities are you looking for in your next police chief? Well, there are many qualities that we're looking for, but I'll be working closely with the police commission to ensure that we pick uh, the right person to be the chief of police. And so much else going on in the city of Oakland this weekend. The first Methodist Episcopal Church was destroyed by fire. Representative Barbara Lee called that a, a beacon of light. Have you gone to the scene of the fire and how will you help, how will the city help them rebuild? 
know, this is such a devastating tra tragedy for a, a very tight-knit and long-standing uh, tight-knit community here. And I had the honor of actually visiting Fame just last Sunday. And you walk into the doors and you feel the warmth. You feel the love and you feel how much this is part of Oakland's history. I know I felt that immediately, and I know that they are already thinking ahead to rebuild and recover, and they set up a GoFundMe that folks can donate to, and it's on their website. So if you can donate, please donate to FAME, F-A-M-E, Oakland, O-A-K-L-A-N-D, dot org. And speaking of Representative Barbara Lee, she just announced her bid to try to replace uh, or, or to go after the uh, Senate seat that uh, Dianne Feinstein is now retiring from. Just your quick question, what, what does Barbara Lee mean to the city of Oakland and, and for that area? Well, we can always sum it up in Barbara Lee speaks for me. And I think that's the best way to sum it up. All right. Well, we recently did a story on Oakland small business owners pleading for help with threats, harassment, and damage to property. Your office gave us a statement. Uh, but what's your plan to help these businesses and prevent more crime from happening in your city? Absolutely. I'm already currently working with Interim Chief Allison, uh, as we announced uh, last week, I believe, around our walking beat officers, really bringing those walking officers back into the business districts, also activating ambassadors, right? Ambassadors are those who are going to be able to remain in those business districts and corridors who have direct connection with OPD and making sure that we are creating that feeling of safety and not just that, but deterrence as well, too. A part of that is that we are going to activate, activate civic place, uh, places such as right in front of City Hall uh, when we reopen again. And so I'm excited to do that work. And I know that the businesses will also be able to feel that positive effect once we go on 100% uh, full rollout. And the city also recently experienced a ransomware attack. We know emergency services have remained operational, but what services are still down and, and, and what's, what's the update on that ransomware? You know, I know it's completely frustrating and I understand why residents are frustrated. I'm frustrated as well too, being that, you know, we're here for the first month and our city teams are working around the clock to resolve and make uh, resolving the issues and are making progress every single day. Uh, it is unfortunate that the investments were not made previously with the a previous uh, with other previous administrations to ensure that the IT infrastructure was in place. But with that being said, uh, this administration will be making those investments uh, to ensure that this never happens again. And, and Mayor, it's been an eventful two first two months in office. What do you think the next two months will look like? Well, the next two months, I can tell you, it's going to be all hands on deck on the streets to make sure that there's clean streets, make sure that people uh, have safe parks to attend. And so be please be on the lookout for our, our in announcement for the annual spring cleaning in the city of Oakland. All right. Thank you very much, Oakland Mayor Shane Tao. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me, Ryan. All right. Thank you. Well, still ahead on CBS News Bay Area, the snow is falling.